You shouldn't love me better You blew me off, I blew this money on some new Magella You shouldn't love me better I'll make it rain on all I got a new vendetta Pull up outside the LAX in a Porsche She sound like my Porsche Pop a little Eddie and take a few shots like I keep me a little twerk The pussy be hating, I know he ain't me and me Got this place all shaking, I know she in love with me You know I'm way too selfish, sorry P. P. D. I want you all to myself, I'll stay on D&D Don't speak, shh, for me Just wear my jeans Put on the tape, she won't be my scene Put the love rap, but I made a bit seen She don't love me, she in love with my bling You shouldn't love me better You blew me off, I blew this money on some new Magella You shouldn't love me better I'll make it rain on Yo, what's going on with your YouTube? Jump in Chris here, we come back at y'all with another vid What we have here today Bam, that's right, and these are the Air Jordan 9 Olives, that's right, set to release this weekend on November 9th, retail, I believe, at $200. My bad. Apparently, Jordan's price that went up is $210, which is, ah, Jordan brand, Jordan brand, Jordan brand. But anyways, man, I mean, this is a pretty decent looking colorway. It's an OG colorway that came out back in 93. I think they re-retro these things back in like 2002 and also in 2012. We are now getting them back in 2024. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not the biggest Air Jordan 1, 9 fan, all right? This is not one of the popular type of Air Jordans that, you know, retros that I usually buy and collect, even if it's an OG colorway. I should have got the Space Jams back when they came out a couple years ago. You know, it is what it is. That was actually probably my favorite Jordan 9 colorway. But we had some different like collaborations with Jordan 9s. I mean, uh, we had the DB 9s, those are great. But with these, uh, I mean, they cool and all. They nice and everything. I think a lot of OG heads are gonna like these quite a bit and been waiting for these to come back out. But man, I'm just gonna keep it 100. Me personally, for me, I mean, these will go great with a lot of fits. It's a great fall shoe and winter shoe. It has, you know, a lot of fits that I'll actually probably rock it with, but for me, I'm probably end up gonna pass on these. I think so. And that's not saying it's a bad shoe, it's just that I got other shoes out there that I wanna collect and buy. You know, I'm trying to be more selective on buying shoes. Spending 200, 210 plus tax every single week. Just can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just can't do it. I gotta be very selective on what I want. We're getting into the holiday season. We're getting stacked on releases. We're getting back-to-back -back retros, great retros. Last week, we just got the Black Toe 14s. Now we're getting the Olive 9s. Next week, we're getting the Fear 4s, where I think a lot of you are gonna be waiting and looking forward to. And also, another back-to-back -back is the Black Cement 3s. So again, and then I'll fall after that, then we got December. So in my opinion, these might be in the back burners. But will these actually end up selling out? Will I regret it? Uh, you know, if they do sell out, cool. You know, I'm glad for anyone to actually grab them. But even if they do sell out, that's cool. Uh, will these actually probably go on discount and outlets? Maybe, maybe not. I don't, I'm thinking they're not going to just because it's OG colorway. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to these. So I do expect these things to sell. Not sure if they're gonna actually sell out, but we'll have to wait and see. Hey, let's just go ahead, let's get into this review real quick, huh? All right, all right, all right. Let's take a quick little 360 of these things. And I must say, they're looking nice. They actually pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Additional, just pull up box, just an Air Jordan. You guys see, got the Air Jordan logo, got the gray box underneath, and it's just a regular pull up box with a trash bag paper. Going with the shoe, how's the materials, how's the quality? Not gonna lie, feels kind of cheap. I'm not, I mean, like the new buck's cool, but this leather feels very cheap. It's, I mean, you can already see they're creasing already, and I haven't even worn them yet. Just the, the leather just feels very thin, you know? And then here, you got the, olive new buck more like a mocha in my opinion that rubber midsole and you get that red jumpman pointing towards to the toe and of course on the pull tab you have here in the back you got the world jumpman right here in the back and of course you got that embossed 23 stitched in round laces all the way up to the tongue now the tongue is that like hirachi mat material where it's basically all one like sock like material inside 
and then on top of the tongue you do have that air jordan tag right there in red i'm saying got that nylon sock liner inside like i said it has like that whole like harachi you know sock technology inside and then inside the insole you do have that nike air jordan logo inside the insole and then the outsoles one of the crazier retro outsoles out there I mean, during the time, this is right after Michael Jordan's dream team. So you guys see that they're trying to go global. Uh, you have different languages and symbols. You got the world globe right there and different languages here on the toe box on the toe. Got the different language here on the toe cap right here. And of course you get the crazy, you get the big red jump man. And as you guys can see, you get that 23 on the outline. Now guys, you don't want to get your soles all nasty and dirty. So guys, get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. It is the best sole protector on the market today. No slippage, no tears, multiple wears. I'm one of these at a sneaker event all day and it's still good to go. So guys, get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. All right, there you guys have it. These are the Air Jordan 9 Olives. Kind of taking them back, man. These are actually kind of nice, but uh, money's still tight. Don't want to go off there. Maybe if I can get it for a discount or later down the road, you know, in the back burners, then I'll grab them. Okay, so sizing-wise, you know, with every 9, because it has that Hirachi, like, you know, sock-like material, it always feels pretty tight. You know, it feels like, it, and it is, same technology is the Jordan 7s. So, I personally like to go about half size up. Size 9.5 feels just fine. I'm a true 9, but I like to get my Jordans usually like 9.5s, to be honest. So, I wouldn't, mind, I wouldn't even mind rocking a size 10. <laughs> but, like, with this sock liner, I'll probably just keep with the size 9.5 and, and it feels just fine. Maybe, maybe if you have, like, a super skinny feet then you can go your true to size, but definitely if you have a wider foot, I would definitely recommend go about a half size up. Matter of fact, you can, if you can, see if you can try it on and then go from there. Cause it, like I said, the, this sock uh, like material with the tongue and everything, it feels kind of tight. I'm not gonna lie. Opinion, I think these are gonna kind of go great with any type of wears, especially during a fall season. You can wear this with the olive, you know, colorways. I wear a lot of mocha colorways, so they will look great with it. It's a tight wear. I like to wear jeans with these or like some joggers or something so it kind of shows i never want to cover a jordan 9 i feel like it just looks kind of weird right but yeah with that being said like i said this is going to be one of my back burner shoes man i'm just going to just wait maybe i'll cop it later down the road and that doesn't mean it's a bad shoe by any means if you love it definitely go out and grab it on day one if you like I definitely recommend you guys keep the receipt and see if they go on sale and then you can uh, go from there because this you know this might not be an instant like quick day one sellout but it'll probably be like a eventually sell out you know i mean we i was kind of surprised that the powder blue nine didn't sell out those were sitting for days and going on for discount so will these follow suit maybe 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 not we're talking about market on these resale wise there's not much to go on i mean they're only going for about basically retail if not these might even jump down to under retail pretty soon i mean like i said these things are probably gonna be like um, this would have been a perfect 180 shoe i mean i don't know why jordan brand had to up their price to 210 it's crazy that jordan price is going so high right now inflation guys inflation but hey it just is what it is at this point you know but uh yeah man all of nines you guys let me know are you guys planning on copping these or not you guys let me know Anyway, guys, hey, just want to say, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumpin' Chris. Push.